Hey guys, I'm Shutek from thedesignsketchbook.com and I would like to share with you something I just discovered last week. Uh, it's just a small hack of your sending 13 HD and to see how with this just felt bad, feel bad from IKEA how you can uh, get something closer sensation experience during your sketching routine. And it's all about how you rotate your paper while you draw. As you can see when I draw here, I love to draw on paper and it's really sliding on the table. Push it a bit with my finger and think the thing is rotating. So for example, when I do straight lines, look at the movement of my hand is actually <laughs> exactly the same. I just need to change the length, but I don't change the angle, but my paper do. My paper does rotate. Alright, so this is how you can actually uh, speed up your uh, sketching speed. And for example here, let's draw the sneakers. <laughs> and this is the same thing as well. I only rotate the paper itself. Okay, so it's very common to, to rotate your paper like 200-300 times per sketch. It's something that will you will need to make it as natural in your process and I draw with my dry hand but I rotate my paper with my left hand ok dun, dun. so I did something that is really a habit for me and when I came to the Wacom Cintiq 13 HD um, something which quite looks unnatural for me is that it was quite fixed so I was intended to rotate it as well but as you can see here it's kind of stuck it's kind of quite hard to rotate it and okay I off the light then you can see clearer and look at behind it's actually some band of rubber which are going behind the tablet so this is why um, the tablet keep very stable on it but that's not what I'm looking for mm. <laughs> so I try to push with my finger, but it doesn't give the same result as the paper itself. Um, let's earn it again. Let's make it a bit of... Try. So, up. Then it's very slow. I try to rotate, and it's very slow. And it's kind of a bit of frustrating when you are used to draw at a certain pace. I guess I, I'm drawing like four or five times slower, and for a sketch that I could make like maybe five minutes, I will make it like in 15 minutes right here, or even more. Okay, so just go to the small trick here with the IKEA felt pad. So it's really cheap things. It's something that I bought like maybe in Singapore, like one dollar fifty, is like one US dollars. <laughs> it's something which you are supposed to put just under the chairs or furnitures and they can slide and do not scratch the, your floor. So I take the big pad here and I just stick it on the four, four corners of the tablet below. So it's going to be very smooth to slide as you can see here. Up is so much more natural for me. So let's on the tablet again. Alright. And let's do a quick demo. And as you can see here, I'm doing the same uh, the same movement as what I did on paper is I rotate with my left hand and I draw with, with my right hand. Alright? So it's very really easy and then you get you can get the sensation which is very really close to what you're used to with uh, traditional techniques. Okay, so let's draw sneakers back. And I, I really like that fluidity of movement and uh, having something really uh, interactive that you can have result on the spot. And some of you may tell me that actually with the software Sketchbook Pro, which I'm using right here, uh, you can write your canvas, but Okay, it's great, but that's not something that really interests me. I actually never use a shortcut on the side of the Wacom tablet or neither uh, this kind of functions because it's just like I'm maybe too used to what I'm doing usually with paper and I'm just trying to, to export it in the digital techniques. 
All right, uh, just as uh, extra info here, I just wanted to show you the uh, the function of rotating the canvas. So the thing is that I have my left hand on my keyboard and using the shortcut and pressing space. And then with my pen, I can actually zoom in, zoom out very easily. And also with a small icon of rotations right here, I can rotate the canvas. And which would be the quite equivalent of what I've done just now, but that's honestly something that I never, I never use myself. So feel free to try both techniques and see what is the most convenient for, for you guys. And about my side, how I do now is to, it's actually a good mix among uh, the keyboard shortcut and also the tablet drawing. I like to use uh, the zoom in and zoom out function using the spacebar, but I never use a rotating canvas option itself. I do prefer to, uh, to use my left hand to switch between the spacebar and rotating the tablet itself. So feel free to do your own test and see how is your own method. So see you guys, bye-bye. Hey, if you wonder how to start design sketching, so feel free to download the designer starter kit and start sketching today. So see you.